It's Wendy from Total Therapy Studios. Today we're going to be doing a short video with some exercises focusing on the shoulder region and also some core work as well. I'm going to do the first part seated, so if you have a stool or a chair that you can use, that would be great. I'm also going to use some weighted balls for some of the exercises. These are one kilogram weighted balls. If you have any hand weights or dumbbells, or even some things that you may have around the house, you could use bottles of water, some tins, a couple of small bags of rice. So anything along those lines is fine, um, but we'll come to those in a moment. So yeah, if you can grab your seat, when it starts seated, make sure that you've got the feet parallel. And um, we're just gonna make sure that we're in a good seated position first of all. So let's just think about the pelvis and just tilt it forwards and backwards a few times. So just tilting it forwards and backwards and then finding that midway position, that neutral spine. We're gonna keep the pelvis in that position and bring your attention to your breathing for a moment. So breathing in and out. With the out breath, start to think about drawing the abdominal muscles back in towards the spine. Releasing off slightly with the in breath. And then again with each out breath, just drawing those abdominal muscles in a little bit more. So we want to make sure that these muscles are activated and awake. So that they're going to be working to support us in the seated position, making sure that that lower part of the spine and the pelvis stay in a nice neutral position, especially whilst we're doing some of the exercises focusing more on the upper back and the shoulders. So keep a gentle drawing in of the abdominal muscles. We'll bring the hands down by the sides and we're just going to start to move the shoulders and slide the shoulders up towards the ears and back down again. Just getting the shoulder blades moving. We're just going to do a few more. So for three and two and one. And then we're going to keep the shoulder blades down. We're going to keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Bring the palms to face the front and bring the arms back slightly. So we can just start to feel those muscles around the back of the shoulder blade activate. And from there, we're going to bring them up and back down. So nice, strong arms. So just really starting to activate those muscles around the back of the shoulder blade, that scapular region. These can often become quite stretched and weak if we're spending lots of time sitting over computers or looking at screens. So this is a really nice way to activate these muscles. Good, and let's go for four more. And for three, for two, and then we'll keep the hands up with the last one, take them down behind the head. Make sure that the shoulders are still resting down away from the ears, bring the elbows back. So activating those muscles at the back just that little bit more, and then you're going to take the hands away, reach out to the side, and bring the hands back behind the head. Good. You can speed it up slightly once you've got the movement. So again, working to activate these muscles at the back, really good for improving posture. We're also starting to stretch out the muscles at the front as well. They can often become a bit tight, causing the shoulders to round forward. So we need to look at stretching out the front and then activating these muscles at the back. Let's go for five and four, three, two, and with the last one, we're going to keep the hands behind the head. We're going to do a winged chest stretch now. So with this one, make sure that you're drawing those abdominal muscles back in towards the spine, keeping that lower part of the spine nice and still and stable. We're going to bring the elbows together and then open wide. And use your breath with this one. Maybe inhale to take the elbows together. As you exhale and open wide, draw those abdominal muscles back towards the spine making sure that that lower part of the spine is staying nice and stable and we're just working this upper part. So really mobilizing through that scapular region, the shoulder blades, and also stretching out to the front of the chest here. If you find that by having the hands behind the head, it's a little bit tricky, just move the hands out, maybe take the fingers towards the ears, and that will just help give you a little bit more range of motion. So do whatever feels right for you. And let's go for four, and three, two, and last one here. And let's take the hands back down by the sides. Circle the shoulders round a few times. 
and then we're going to use our weights now. So if you can pick up whatever you've got to use as your weight, I'm going to have them resting in the palm of the hands with the palms facing up, elbows in by the side. So not too far back, you're going to have the elbows just connected or, or keeping contact with the side of the ribs, you know, almost to coming towards the front slightly. The elbows are going to stay in there. We're going to keep that connection. Keep those elbows in by the side, shoulders back and down, and then open the hands out to the side and back again. So don't be tempted to try and move too far and then take the elbow away. Keep those elbows in by the sides and we're just working now. We're bringing that shoulder joint into external rotation, working these muscles here. Really good for strengthening and um, stabilizing around the shoulder joint. And take your time, feel those muscles activating. So let's go for five more here. For five and four. Also making sure that that wrist is in a nice neutral position, it's staying nice and straight. Last two and last one here. And bring that back. From here, we're gonna take the weights up in front of the shoulder joint we're going to do a chest press overhead press. So make sure that you're drawing those abdominal muscles in again, keeping that lower part of the spine nice and still and stable. Take a breath in to prepare. As you exhale and then draw those muscles in, let's push the hands in front for your chest press. Bring it back in as you breathe in. Next out breath, you're going to do your overhead press and then coming back down in the in breath. So pressing to the front and then overhead. So with the weights, we're just holding these muscles under tension, so helping to strengthen these, working these muscles at the front and the top of the shoulder joint now. And that's it, and using the breath, make sure you're not holding your breath, so exhale and engage those muscles as you push the hands away, and then again as you push the hands above. Good. And make sure as you exhale with pushing the hands away, you're just drawing those abdominal muscles back in towards the spine a little bit more. And let's just go for three more. Good, two, and then last one here. And relax down, super. Okay, so we're gonna pop these weights back down for just now. We'll use them again when we come down onto the mat. Um, before we do that, the last thing that we'll do seated is we're going to stretch out the wrist in flexion. So if you can take your arm nice and straight, just tuck that thumb underneath, make a loose fist, keep the arm straight. You use the other hand to just actively bring that wrist into flexion, mobilizing and stretching out this area. The wrist can actually often become quite tight and that can cause issues up into the elbow, up into the shoulder joint. So it's good to incorporate these wrist stretches into work that you're doing for the shoulders as well. Let's go for five and four, three, two, and one. Shake that one off. Same with the other arm. So the arm is straight, the thumb tucks underneath, make a loose fist, and then use your other hand to actively stretch that wrist into flexion. And make sure that you're keeping the arm straight. And again, let's go for five and four, three, two, and one, and then shake that off. Lovely, so that's the seated part. We're gonna come down onto the mat now. So we're gonna come down onto the mat now, and um, first of all, into our quadruped position. So onto our hands and knees. You're just taking time to set yourself up, make sure you're in the correct alignment. The hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. Have a slight, slight spread of the fingers and make sure that, that middle finger is pointing forwards. The creases at the um, inside of the elbows are in towards the centre, facing each other and shoulders away from the ears. And let's just make sure that we're drawing those abdominal muscles up so that we're protecting that lower part of the spine. So we'll do a few static abs. Take a breath in. As you exhale, draw those tummy muscles back up towards the spine, keeping everything else really still. 
And as you breathe in, allow them to relax down for a moment. Again, with the out breath, draw those abdominal muscles back up towards the spine, keeping everything else really still. Last time, as you breathe in, allow them to relax down. And then this time, as you breathe out, you're going to draw those abdominal muscles back up towards the spine. We're now going to keep that drawing up of the abdominal muscles as we continue to breathe. And first of all, we're going to um, stretch out the wrists a little bit more, this time stretching them into extension. So we'll start with the right hand, we'll release off the pressure. We're going to take our right hand around in a clockwise direction so that the fingers come to point towards us. Placing it back down and start off slowly with this. Just slowly start to rock the weight back and forwards. Slowly and just small movements to start off with. And then gradually as you get used to it, see if you can maybe just increase that movement a little bit more. Stretching out these joints and muscles on the inside of the wrist here. So they can often become quite tight. Sometimes we're not even aware of it. But if they are and the wrist becomes, you know, has issues with mobility, that can then refer up, it can cause issues with the elbows, it can refer up and cause issues with the shoulders as well. But sometimes a bit uncomfortable if you're not used to doing this, but it's very beneficial. So let's go for five and four, three, two, and one, come back to the center, release off the pressure, give it a shake out, pop that hand back into position. And then when you're ready, we'll release off the left hand. This one we're gonna take around in an anti-clockwise direction. Fingers pointing towards you, place it back down. Start off slowly with a small movement, rocking the weight backwards and forwards. Just stretching out those muscles, mobilizing through the wrist joint, really beneficial. And just going as far as suits you. If you're not used to it, you might start off with a very small movement. Once you get more used to the stretch, you might find that you can just move that a little bit further. And again, we're going to go for five and four, three, two, and last one here. Come back into the center, release off the pressure give it a bit of a shake and then pop it back down into position. So checking your alignment again and your positioning. We're going to bring in some thoracic rotation now. Again, very beneficial for the shoulder joints. So we're going to release off one hand, pop it behind the head. Then we're then going to take that elbow up, rotating into that thoracic spine, bringing it back down. We're going to release off that hand and then feed it through underneath the other one, stretching out through the shoulder and then bringing it back and placing it back down again, ready to do the other side. So the hand comes behind the head, rotating up, the head follows the elbow, coming back, feeding that hand through underneath, stretching through the shoulder, and then placing it back. Good. And then back to the other side. And make sure you're breathing with this. Make sure you're not holding your breath, the breath helps to sort of stretch out and open up those joint spaces. So if the thoracic spine, the middle part of the back, becomes quite stiff, as it often does, that can affect the functioning of the shoulder joint as well. So part of working into that shoulder area, really it's beneficial to include working movements that will help to mobilize through this thoracic area in the middle part of the spine and stretching through. So we'll do one more on each side, using the breath. And then one more on the other side. And then when you finish, sit back on the heels, walk the hands forward, stretching through the shoulders, Allow the head to relax down and have a few breaths there. For the next part of the exercises, we're going to come down onto a lie in our front, so onto our prone position. So in this position, make sure that you, so our pelvis isn't in neutral in this position. We want to tilt our pelvis backwards slightly. 
So just think about that pubic bone at the front of the pelvis coming down towards the mat, that belly button coming back up towards the spine, and just engaging those glute muscles, just helping to keep the pelvis in that position. It just avoids, helps us to keep a bit of length in the base of the spine and avoids any sort of crunching or pinching of that, um, that, of that area. So we're going to do our arrow exercise. I'm going to start off with the forehead down, neck nice and long, and the arms down by your side, so the palms facing up. And we'll do this in stages. So first of all, we're going to bring the shoulders up away from the mat, those shoulder blades coming together. We're going to bring the arms up. And then as the forehead comes up off of the mat, keeping the neck long, we're going to reach the fingers towards the feet. So you're really engaging those muscles at the back of the shoulder joint. And then let's rest the head back down, rest the arms down and allow the shoulders to relax back down. So we'll do that a few more times. So the shoulders come up, the arms come up, and then the forehead comes up. Think about lengthening through the top of the head, reaching those fingers to the feet, those shoulder blades sliding down the back, but keep the neck long. And then the head comes down and the arms and the shoulders. And we'll do that again. So the shoulders come up and the arms, and as the head comes up, the shoulder blades slide down the back, the fingers reach towards the feet. This is such a lovely movement for really activating all of those muscles that are all around the shoulder blades, stretching out across the front of the chest. Let's rest the head down, the arms and the shoulders. And we're going to hold it this time, we'll add on to it. So the shoulders come up and the arms come up. And as the head comes up, reaching the fingers to the toes, we're going to turn the palms to face down. Reach out into a T, reach through the fingers there, bring the arms back down by the side, palms up and rest the head down, the arms and the shoulders. And we'll do that again. So shoulders come up, make sure you've still got that tilt of your pelvis, the arms come up and as the head comes up and reaches long, the fingers reach to the feet. Palms come down, reaching out to a T, reach through the fingers there, bring the arms back down by your side, palms up, and let's bring the head down, the arms and the shoulders. And then let's bring the shoulders up and the arms, and as the head comes up, reaching to the feet. We're going to take the palms to face down, and this time we're going to bring the hands all the way up above the shoulders, and then bring them back again with the palms facing up. Okay, so really, this is like our snow angel, but lying face down. Really activating these muscles around the shoulder blade, very strengthening for the back. Nice, strong arms. So you come out to a T, reach above the shoulders, and then the palms come up as you come towards the feet. Okay, once you've got the movement, you can speed it up slightly. Let's go for four and three for two, and one, and carefully rest back down again. From here, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, push yourself up and back, and let's sit back on the heels for a moment, and stretch out and breathe into it. Let the head relax down. One more exercise to work the core muscles here. We're gonna come down onto our elbows and our forearms. And here, let's bring the elbows in front of the shoulders, and the knees are behind the hips and curl the toes underneath. So already, just start to really think about drawing those abdominal muscles up, drawing that belly button back up towards the spine, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Take a breath in as you exhale and engage those muscles a little bit more. Stretching one heel away. With the in-breath, bring that knee down. Next out-breath, stretch the other heel away. Straightening the leg out coming back on the in-breath. So one side and then the other. With each out-breath, as you stretch away, really drawing those abdominal muscles up towards the spine. That's it, shoulders away from the ears, drawing those shoulder blades down the spine and keeping the neck in a nice neutral position. If that's feeling okay, and you would like to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can do both legs at the same time. So as you exhale, and engage the muscles, press both heels away. Back on the in-breath, and again, drawing those abdominal muscles up towards the spine. And let's go for eight. Good, 
Good. And seven. For six. And five. Go back to alternating. This is too much. For four. And three. Stretching the heels away. Last two. And last one if you can. Hold it there. And then let's bring the knees down. And for the last time, we're going to sit back on the heels. We'll reach the hands forward. And we'll add in a stretch to the side here. So just bring the hips up slightly. Nice Walk the hands rest. round to the left side. When you're there, reach. And then bring the hips up slightly and walk the hands back around the centre. Over to the right side. Reach that left hand away. Sit back into the hips. Lovely stretch down through that left side. All the way down through the shoulder, the lat muscles, down into that low back area. Allow the head to relax down and breathe into it. And then bring the hips up. Walk the hands back to the centre and then back in towards you. And for the final part, we're going to come up back to our seating position. So if you can grab your seat again or your stool. And just to finish off first, we're going to do our three-way neck stretch. So for this one, we'll start with the right hand. Take the right hand behind the back. So you want that right shoulder blade sliding back and down, opening up across the front of that right shoulder. Use the left hand just to hold on to that wrist, just to keep that arm in place to support it there. I'm going to hold that there, and you're going to take the chin round to the right side, round to that right shoulder, and look up and back. And then slowly come back through the centre, bringing the chin round to the left side, and look down and back. And again through the centre, and looking up and back into that right corner, back through the centre, and looking down and back to the left. We'll do one more in each direction. So slowly through the centre, looking up and back, and then come through the centre and looking down and back. Release off that side, shake it out if you need to. Same with the other side. So left hand behind the back. Make sure that shoulder blade is relaxing back and down, opening up across the front of the shoulder. The right hand is just holding that wrist, holding that arm in place. And then from there, taking the chin round to that left shoulder and looking up and back. And then back through the centre and looking down and back to the right. Two more in each direction. Nice, slow, steady movements up and back to the left. Coming through the centre and down and back. And then last one here coming back through the centre, up and back to the right. Coming back through, bringing that chin round to the right shoulder and looking down and back. Coming back to the centre, releasing that off, give it a shake and circle the shoulders backwards. So we'll bring these exercises there, focusing on the shoulder joint but also looking at the thoracic spine, the mobility of the wrists and the neck and a little bit of core work as well. Wave beats music.